And now I'm excited to announce Ishan, uh, who is the co-founder, right, at Super AGI. And he will be talking about state of agents, AI agents, and a bit of Super AGI as a technology and the potentials you basically have with this. Uh, Ishan, happy to welcome you to the stream. The stage now is yours. Thanks a lot. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Ishan. I'm one of the creators of Super AGI. Um, so just before I talk about Super AGI, I just wanted to talk a bit about why do we really need agents? Um, I think LLMs are one of the most profound technology which has come up in the last 100 years. Uh, but the reality is that LLMs are great at thinking, but they are very bad when it comes to acting or doing certain actions. They are, in a way, brain in a jar. That's when you need the agents, and agents are the body and the hands, which essentially can work in conjunction with the LLMs and help them do useful work. So right now, if you look at the state of agentic applications, uh, there has been a lot of buzz around drags or retrieval augmented generation, and that clearly is one of the clear use cases which has come and uh, which has been deployed in the enterprise and the production. Uh, but we think the market is moving more towards what we call ragas or retrieval augmented generation and actions. Basically, it has all the best of things from a rag, but it combines actions along with that. So you have a bunch of data which is vectorized and you use the base LLM to uh, do the augmented generation. Along with that, you couple that with an action. And this is clearly one trend that we are seeing in the market and a lot of large uh, businesses, enterprises are deploying that into the production. One of the biggest challenge of agents, and there are a lot of challenges with the agents. Agents, I would say, are like the technology of internet before the Mosaic or the web browser came into the picture, uh, right? Have a lot of promise, but a lot of building blocks and primitives have to be built out. And one of the biggest challenge for the agents is how do you essentially fine tune the trajectory of the agent? Right now, if you give a goal to the agent, they will do something uh, like a linguistic dance, wherein it will start and think from first principles about every single action. And when you run that agent again, it will again think about it from the first principles. And that's what leads to hallucinations, looping, etc. So the learnability of the agents is one thing that has to be like, you know, solved, and this is what we have done at Super AGI uh, through primitives such as trajectory fine-tuning, environment passing, and also a bit of reinforcement learning. So what is Super AGI? Super AGI is a dev-first, open-source AI agent framework. Uh, we help developers to build, manage, and run useful autonomous agents quickly and deploy them to the production. You can access Super AGI via our GitHub repository. You can run it locally on your system. We support different types of models. Your local LLM, foundation models, cloud-based models. Uh, we have Super AGI Cloud, which is our cloud offering. Uh, you can quickly sign up there and start using and building out agents and testing out different kinds of templates and other elements which are there on the marketplace. And then, of course, we have APIs and SDKs. Some of the powerful features that we offer as part of Super AGI are uh, agent workflows, agent summaries, a action console, which really make your life very, very easy as a developer to not think about the deepest action, but think about the use case. So we'll talk about some of those features. So one of the core offering of Super AGI is a Super AGI marketplace, wherein we have four different entities. We have Super AGI, Super AGI tools. Uh, we have Super AGI agent templates, which are one-click agent templates that you can deploy in production and start configuring it for your particular use case. It basically helps you take 80% and you basically customize the agent for the last mile of the 20%. Then we are embedding the agent knowledge. Let's say if you want to build an agent for SEO, and you have all the knowledge of the agent available as an embedding in the marketplace for uh, SEO, Neil Patel, how Neil Patel does SEO, and you can just plug that into an agent, it will execute that particular task in context to that embedding. Uh, then we have models uh, which we offer on the marketplace, and I'll talk a bit more about that. So our agent tools, uh, like we are adding more and more tools onto the platform. Uh, the experience of building a tool is very, very simple. You don't need any zip file. You don't need any manual declaration in the registry. You just have a GitHub repo of a tool. You can just simply pull that into Super AGI instance, both of the cloud and the local version. And we have more and more tools which are getting added almost with every single release. The other key problem right now with the agents is that how do you really define when an agent has completed a particular goal? And that's when you need the agent telemetry or what we call agent performance monitoring. And we offer very robust analytics around how do you look at, let's say, the tool utilization of an agent? How do you analyze the trajectory of the agent? How do you figure out when an agent has particularly hit a goal? And what is the reliability and the consistency which has been built over a period of subsequent runs? And of course, the modal utilization and the token consumption. 
Asian model. So we support multiple models. We are model agnostic. So not only we support OpenAI and some of the other foundation model, but we have recently integrated with Hugging Face Replicate and we are supporting local models as well. You can simply orchestrate across different models, not only at the agent level, but at the agent step level as well. What that means is that you can not only now define an agent or provision an agent, uh, which can define the React architecture using one model, but at the step level, if you want to, let's say, code for a particular step, you can use a wizard LLM. Or if you want to write content, you can use a different open source model. So that gives you n number of permutations and combinations to configure the agent for your particular use case. We have APIs and SDKs across uh, all the major languages. Uh, right now, we are live with Python and Node. We are also launching out for Rails, NPM, as well as Java. Now, this is one of the key features of Super AGI. And uh, one of the biggest challenge working with the agents is that how do you ensure agents are able to cross five steps or 10 steps? And generally, if you see, most of the agents get stuck after certain steps. That's where autonomous agentic workflows come into the picture. And this is a new way of what we call uh, building out age, not only agents, but also software. This kind of takes the entire primitive from imperative way to build out software to a declarative way. Imperative way is that you define in software that, hey, click this, drag that. In a declarative way, which is empowered by autonomous agentic workflows, you can broadly define what is the goal, and the workflow itself will be figured out by the agent. And this is live using autonomous agentic workflows. We have been able to build uh, long agentic workflows, uh, which can go up to 30, 40, 50 steps. And these are just very, very broad guardrails, wherein you tell an agent, hey, this is what you need to do at different length of step. How the agent does that particular step is entirely autonomous. And uh, you can define the input instruction at every step. You can define the output instruction at every step. And you can build very, very sophisticated workflows. We have enabled sales engagement workflows. We have enabled HR recruitment workflows. And we are working with partners who are building uh, different kind of business processes using this feature. We are seeing amazing response from the community. And hundreds of autonomous apps have been built uh, on top of Super AGI. And uh, definitely Lab Labs last hackathon have been super critical for us to get that community adoption. And people started using our APIs. And people started building on top of it. And we are seeing some amazing apps which are like not only using Super AGI in the ways that we expected, but in the ways that we didn't even expect. So what's next for Super AGI? The next set of things that we're working on are extremely exciting. One of the feedback that we got from the community is that we need to build out a lightweight version of Super AGI Python library, which you can just simply pip install and start building out embedded agents. And this is something if you use Llama Index, if you use Langchain, it will come, it will feel right at home for you. It will come with all the batteries included and you can simply define and build complex, sophisticated agents. You don't have to go to the abstraction. It will have all the goodness of Super AGI along with uh, the new features that we recently launched, including workflows, also uh, the resource management part, everything including in an agent library. And you can just import the library that you would want and build on top of it. The other thing that we are very excited about and that we are planning to launch in the next couple of weeks is what we call large agentic models. So one of the key challenges that we saw with the large generalized models working with the agents was that uh, it's like putting and trying to fit in a large model which, is, which has a very generalized intelligence for a specific agent use case. And that doesn't really like work all the time. That's why we're building very, very sophisticated and focused models depending upon the use case, which will be built on top of open source model, but fine tuned for a particular use case of the agent that you can couple with an agent template and solve that use case. So this is like a infra component where the model and the agent comes in together. And we'll be launching this in the next uh, couple of weeks. And we'll be talking more about that on our Twitter and on our community uh, Discord as well. Uh, the other uh, interesting research item that we have recently uh, like, you know, launched as part of the library is uh, RLAF. This is uh, something that we have internally uh, built, wherein uh, the idea is that can we train the models based on the activity of the agents. Uh, think about hitting a wall with your hand. You get a feedback that, okay, this is not something that you should do and that will cause pain and that teaches your brain you shouldn't do that. Can we have a continuous deployment or a fine tuning for the model uh, based on the agent feedback uh, that we are building? And this will be released as part of V.15 uh, that we'll be launching next to next week. So just want to leave you with a parting thought that there has been a lot of consensus and uh, established thought around that the AGI will emerge from the found some mega giant foundation models. We have a slightly contrarian stance on that. We believe that 
AGI, the form factor of the AGI will look more like a multi-agent heterogeneous system, wherein you have an orchestration agent and then you have very, very specialized side of agents and models who orchestrate certain bit of intelligence. So I think ASI or artificial specialized intelligence is gonna come before like an you know, AGI and that is what we are empowering. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, all the best for the hackathon. Really look forward to see what all you guys build with that. And uh, feel free to reach out to us over Twitter or our communities. Thanks a lot.